everybody, Ricky here with Apple Valley Farm. Thank you so much for hanging out with us again today for a few minutes. Today I am, I am in the throes of making cornhole boards and you know in hindsight I will have to say I think I want to go back and do a sequential series of videos of, of how-to videos about how to do the cornhole boards from beginning to end because right now we just we just got some random stuff and that's what this is just today i'm only going to show you another portion of what we're doing now i'm getting ready i've i've built i've sanded i've painted i've done all the stuff to the cornhole boards to get them ready to finish now i'm doing the final prep before i put the clear coat on there and i wanted to show you how we do that there's, there's a little bit of a process there are probably different ways to do it but this is the way that i have figured it out over the years it's not that complicated but again it is a process so i wanted to share this with you so hang out here with me for a few more minutes here we go so after I have put everything on here, we hand paint all this stuff. So it's got a little bit of texture to it because the paint has some dimension. We need to sand this down, number one, to get the, the paint as level with the surface of the wood as possible. And number two, this is not perfectly smooth and neither is the plywood. So we want to go over this with a final sanding to make sure it's as smooth as it can possibly be. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some 220 grit sandpaper. I'm gonna do this by hand because that's the way I like to do it. It feels like I have a little more control over it. You can do it with a palm sander or whatever if you want to but I'm gonna show you why I don't suggest that. You can do it, but I just don't think it's a good idea. So I'm, I've just got a half a sheet of some 220. Um, uh, some people might say, Ricky, why are you using 220 right off the bat? Why don't you work your way up? And I get that. Um, and there are there's a whole video waiting to be done about building up through the grits of sandpaper. I've already sanded this board up to a 150 before I ever painted anything on it. So the board is already pretty well sanded anyway. Um, I'm, I've just got to do one last bit of sanding to kind of kind of bring it all together. And the 220 is really good for that. It's not too invasive, uh, but it's good enough to give us the result that we want. Okay, the way I do this is I like to start out on my edges and I'm just giving this a light touch. We don't need, you don't really need to bear down on this. Just a light touch is good. I go around the edges, wipe the dust off. You'll see here, there's a lot of dust. There's a lot of paint residue on in the sandpaper. So we need to get that out. I'm just going to knock it out with my dust rag here with an old t-shirt. I'm just going to knock that out. There you go, and it cleans it out really well. When I start to sand, especially this red right here, watch what happens. All right. Obviously, we've got red in the sandpaper here. You see that? The little residue the red residue now that is over on the unfinished wood that doesn't seem to be a problem but when we first started doing this i thought i could just take a rag and just wipe that off no 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 if you wipe this it's going to just push it down into the fibers of the wood especially here in the georgia heat and humidity so you need to treat this just like I did this. I'm gonna hit this, obviously, again, with a dust rag and clean it off. I'm gonna do the same thing here. So I'm gonna knock this off, just like that, and you can see that's gone now. Now one other thing, even though we're going with the grain, you'll also discover, if you haven't already, the fibers of your board are going to orient themselves 
in a particular direction. They're either going to want to, to go this way or they're going, going to want to go this way. Let me see if I can explain. This board, the fibers tend to lay this way. So I want to wipe or hit the board in that fashion. If I don't, if I hit them in this way, then as the fibers are trying to lay this way, I'm gonna hit them and it's gonna make them stand up. And then all of that work we do here will be for naught. So you wanna discover which direction your fibers are going in. And you can use, usually do that by just rubbing your hand across it one way or the other. It'll be obvious which direction gives you more resistance. You might even pick up a splinter. So you wanna go in the direction that the wood fibers are wanting to lay. Now I'll do this over the whole board. The whole thing, I'll do the colors first, then the bare, I'm cleaning as I go. We don't wanna let the humidity get to that paint residue or it's gonna make it want to adhere to the wood again. I'm gonna get that stuff off quickly. Small patches, get it off. Small patch, get it off. And with that, that it's, that's it, it's pretty easy. But I'm gonna let you watch me do the whole thing. It doesn't take long. And uh, you can see how we do it from A to Z. Here we go. All right, there you go. That was it. I told you this would be really easy, really simple, but it is a critical step. I would not put a clear coat on a board without doing this step. Just remember the most important part of it is, is to work in small batches and to get that residue off. Now, if you're working with decals um, and vinyl, of course, you wanna do this process before you put the decal on here, obviously. But if you're doing like with our boards where we, we paint everything on here, then we need to do this right before we get ready to put the clear coat on. That is it. That is it. Thank you again for hanging out with me and uh, I hope you learned something. We learn something it seems like every time we build another set of boards. So, hey, I hope you're learning something. I'm learning stuff every time we do this. If you have any questions, uh, comments, give me a shout. If we can maybe make a set of boards for you, let us know. Give me a shout over at info at applevalleyfarmga.com. You can hook up with us over at www.applevalleyfarmga.com. And of course, you can always hang out with us here. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't, and please like and comment if you haven't already. Thanks again, take care, be safe, and go make something.